Oppo has just launched the Find X8 and Find X8 Pro smartphones in China. In Q1 2025, the brand is expected to unveil the Find X8 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Elite in the home market. Apart from the X8 Ultra, the brand is also expected to announce the Oppo Find N5 foldable phone in the same quarter. The following Weibo post released by Tipster Digital Chat Station spills new details about the N5. According to the Tipster, the general design of the Oppo Find N5's engineering prototype is similar to the previous generation, the Find N3. Therefore, it continues to sport a large circular camera module on the back. The Tipster revealed that the Find N5's screen size has been increased, but he did not reveal the exact size. A previous leak by the same source revealed that the device's internal screen will support a 2K plus resolution. Under the hood, the Oppo Find N5 will feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, and reports suggest it could debut as the world's first foldable phone powered by this chipset. While its predecessor housed a 4,805 mAh battery, the N5 is expected to deliver a notable upgrade with a dual-cell battery configuration, 2,460 mAh plus 3,105 mAh, that offers a rated capacity of 5,565 mAh. The typical battery capacity could be around 5,700 mAh. There is currently no confirmed information on the device's wired charging capabilities, though it is rumored to support wireless charging. Oppo has even teased that the N5 will include magnetic wireless charging. For photography, the N5 will sport a Hasselblad-optimized triple camera system featuring a 50-megapixel main camera, a 50-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 50-megapixel periscope telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom. A key highlight of the Find N5 is its slimness, measuring around 9. XM in the folded state, as per a previous leak by DCS. To maintain this sleek profile, the company will incorporate a custom-made slim USB-C port. Speculation suggests that the Find N5 might be rebranded as the OnePlus Open 2 in select markets such as India, Europe, and the US, though no concrete details are available regarding its launch timeline.